Hey guys, I'm over here at ICAST with Josh, Janish. We're going to pick out our top items that we like the most at this show. Um, and it's good, it's two perspectives. It's mine, which is like the out of the field perspective, products that, you know, that I can comment, say what I would use this for, who it applies to, and Josh is going to give some of the technical things, you know, weight, what he likes about it, the weight class, price, buying capacity, and maybe new features. So we're going to go walk around the floor right now, pick out a bunch of different things, and comment on them, and what we think is the best, and, you know, what you're going to end up liking based on our knowledge of fishing. So this should be good. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do it. We're in a familiar land right here. This is one of Josh's picks. Well, this is just you know very very simple easy pick because this is this is going to be John Skinner's new reel. This is the brand new Accurist S3 with the uh, the new flippers. Which what I like about it is that they really improved it on the old flippers, which was like a, a hard push down, and um, you really had to put effort into it and it made it difficult. So with this, you just simply do that, and it's a much easier thing. And then you're in you know, flip and switch. Mm. Um, they also added two ball bearings to it, so it's a bit smoother. They improved the cast control system, which for Skinner and guys bottom fishing and, and shallow water for fluke and stuff, doesn't make a difference. But if you are a guy who's gonna be casting and you wanna use this multi-purpose, not just doing things the Skinner way, um, you know, it's a can't miss hit. Sim simple enough. Super simple. So I missed this one during the show and uh, Josh pointed it out and I said, ah, I don't know what this is. And I, I complained a little bit. And did my usual, but this looks really cool now that I'm like looking at it and checking it out. So let me turn the camera around so you know what I'm talking about. So we're in the Nomad booth, and this is a company called Nomad Design, they're out of Australia. And this company's been doing stuff for a long time, and they're finally here in the U.S. And we started with some of their offshore stuff, but they um, they've expanded their lineup. This thing is called the Dark Wave, and look at this thing. This is a uh, their version of a pencil popper. It's about nine inches, ten inches. What were you saying? Yeah, this is a, they have all sizes. If you want to look right here, I mean, they've got a full line. Even this little thing. Look at how small that is. Look at that. That's crazy. Albies right there. But it's not necessarily this lure that I like. I mean, I like this lure. It's really cool. But their whole lineup is really well made. It's different. They've got a lot of you know cool stuff, cool ideas. They got jigs that are going to be great slow pitch for tuna and all that kind of stuff. The guys are going crazy for these for sea bass. surf guys they're gonna have a lot of different style stuff and you know you can see with these these dart rigs like just how different look at the shape on that and look at the, uh, the face of it how it's really it nice is, yeah. how that's gonna swim and this thing's really gonna go back and forth and cause a lot of commotion top water and everything is is really high quality and all that kind of stuff and it's affordable it's not crazy prices it's um, been engineered that's for sure yeah so, somebody engineered this I can tell just cool stuff really cool Super hot reel. I mean, I don't even need to show this reel. That's how popular it is. It's the brand new Shimano Corrado DC. This thing is on fire. Like, it's been the hit of iCast. It's e this was an easy pick. This is probably my easiest pick last, is, is this reel. It's basically got digital cast control inside. And what's cool about it is when you when you set it, you see there's numbers here and you can set it. And when you set this to a four, for example, you can basically cast this thing without putting your thumb on it. And what's gonna happen really? is you're gonna cast out and the line's gonna like fluff up and the, the cast control system is gonna automatically suck it down and you're just gonna have a smooth cast. So you can get super accurate with it. It's lightweight. I had you no know, idea. I, was, I wasn't paying attention to the yeah. what was going on. And the best part about it is that it's $249.99. So it's really affordable for most guys fishing this type of fishing who want a high-end reel but don't want to pay like, you know, they also came out with a uh, metanium version. That's a $500 reel. So you're getting the same technology for $250. It's crazy. Our pre-orders for this have been off the charts. If you are uh, fishing in freshwater or saltwater and you want long, accurate casts and you want something smooth, it's going to perform, level wine reel, Shimano Corrado DC is, it's it. It's legit. It's awesome. I'm such a numbskull. I had no idea that was the main feature about Main feature, real. yeah. Digital cast control. It's really crazy. Yeah. Is it, how is it? Is it electronic in here? It's got a chip in there, but what's cool is it's almost like, um, like a, uh, what would you call it, like a, like a hybrid car. Like when you start reeling, it generates the electricity to manage it. So you never need to charge it. No batteries, none of that kind of stuff. It's, it's just... It is actually, yeah. I had no idea. We, Josh took me to this booth and I had no clue why this chicken a Corrado. Now I'm like, that's insane. It's Japanese technology at its best. I mean, that thing is sweet. And turn the handle, how smooth is that thing? It's really smooth. Yeah, it's crazy, right? That's cool. 
All right, so we did three of Josh's picks. We're gonna do one mine, one of mine next. We're gonna head over to a different booth, but this is crazy. All right, so one of the booths I'm at right now is actually, it's not really fishing related, but I think it's a pretty common question I've gotten my whole life. Somebody from Brooklyn, New York, and I keep my kayak up on my roof rack overnight for years and years and years. I saw this product and I thought it was one of the most interesting products. Kayak angler or, you know, somebody who owns a bike can own. It's the GoLock system. And I'm going to very briefly explain what the idea of what I think, how it works. I think he's behind me is going to correct me if I'm wrong. Basically, this system, you lock it as you would any other security lock system, a chain. If somebody toys with it or messes with it, an alarm goes off to your mobile device, iPhone, iPad, etc. But uh, Vicky, explain everything I did not cover yeah. right there. Yeah, not a problem. So we're, we're demoing a three foot cable today, but it comes in a seven, 10, and 20 foot cable. So you can lock up multiple items at once. And this is a smart cable. It has technology running all the way through this uh, cable. So if it's crimped, if it's scraped, or if it's cut, or if there's any damage to this case, it's going to alarm at the site and on your smartphone. And when it alarms at the site, it's 95 decibels, so it's really loud. We've toned it down for the show to um, so people won't go deaf. But um, so let me give you a quick demo. Yeah, so, go for it. When the cables are in the lock, you're in a, a ready-to-arm position. So on your app, this app controls this lock. So it's going to show green on the app that it's ready to be armed. And it's real simple. You just arm it, and it and it shows up red on the uh, lock and red on your smartphone. Now this one has a motion. They all have a motion sensor. I'm sorry. Um, this is active. So if, even if this item is, if this lock is moved, it's going to alarm. So when it alarms again, it's going to alarm on the actual unit and on your smartphone. Cool. Very cool. So uh, the battery life is seven days with normal use, and it's a lithium rechargeable battery. It, it pops out of the cradle and you recharge it with a USB port. Wow. Uh, the cradle is uh, mountable, so you can hard mount it if you choose to. And then it also comes with a cradle that you can plug into the wall, so you can have security 24-7. Um, and I think that's about it. So I think, I think that's a really cool product. Um, it's one of the ones I really dig and probably will start integrating in some way. Um, somebody who travels their kayaks always, kayaks are always with me. Kayaks in the parking lot right now. <laughs> yeah, this is a smart, smart product. And uh, hopefully we'll see some more of that. All right. This is, a, this is a classic right here. What are we holding, Josh? All right, so these are one of my favorite reels that I've seen so far. Brand new Spin Fisher, the Spin Fisher VI, so the sixth version of this reel. And um, when Penn announced it, you know, we were wondering like, what's the upgrade that's going to be? What's what's going to change about it? How is this going to be better than the previous version? And really, it comes down to these two models. I mean, I'll talk a little bit about the internals and stuff, but we've got a 4500 bailless, so it's a nice small bailless reel for you surf guys, which this has never come like this. And then also a 2500 size spinning reel. It's a good so size this reel, is, right? Yeah, this is like your everything reel, especially now with lighter braids and lighter lines. And uh, you know, a lot of guys want to use one reel for a lot of different things, and with something this small and powerful, you can do a lot of that stuff. These are a bit smoother, it's tighter, it's got that slammer three feel. It's not as good as a slammer three, you know, that's a hundred dollars more reel, but you can feel that what they learned from the slammer three is inside of this reel, and um, it's durable, all metal. People are just going to have a lot of fun. The trip's really nice. It's got all those seals in there that the original version has, and it just has that feel. I think you should you should feel this thing. More performance oriented. Is that what you feel like? You don't feel slop. I don't feel that kind the of pen battle too. Right. It's <laughs> it's definitely an upgrade from that. You know. That's. I think the pen. The people that love pen are going to really like this. this oh, is they're going to be crazy. I think the 4500. You know, for the surf guys, is the other. I know Skinner already has one of those. He's already started fishing with it. He was one of the test guys for it, and he loves it. Yeah, uh, this is like the, the old school striper man is gonna love this. Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> They're gonna love it. All right, this one's my pick. Uh, I've been impressed by this reel. 
multiple times looking at it, so this one's one of my picks. But I don't know as much about it as Josh is going to know about it. I've just been impressed from an angling standpoint. Um, I'm not 100% familiar with all the technicals, so let's turn the camera around. So this is the reel that a lot of guys have been talking about because they've been buzzing it on, on social media. You've probably seen this picture, this side. This is the Siegler SGN Star Drag. I've just got a Star Drag. They do a lot of lever drag stuff. They do some Star Drag stuff, which you've probably seen before in the uh, SS. This is an SM. But what's different about this is that, you know, that, that's a cast reel this is more of a conventional boat reel kayak reel that kind of thing now it's not done so i'm not going to play with it it's this is still a prototype stage but you can see how small it is it's going to have you know close to 30 pounds of drag the stars are already done and um you know nice big gearbox you know a lot of power in there and it's just going to be a uh, just another great star drag. it feels like a, a lot of these manufacturers now are coming out with star drag so we did the accurate one Seagull one is going to be good, and I know Avid's coming out with Star Trek. So for all you Star Trek fans, one of those three reels should be on your list, and I think this is definitely uh, awesome. It's going to be great. It's probably doesn't release for another couple of months. They're tweaking it, making it the best they can possibly be. But it's 100% made in America. I know Elias likes that. Everybody likes that. It's American-made, and we like to support American companies who make things in America. It's uh, it's just a cool thing to do if you're an American. So uh, Siegler SGN Star Trek. Look for it soon. Awesome. All right, so this next booth I'm in, I'm out by myself. Yeah. All right, it's a company called Catch. Catch? Did I pronounce it? Catch. Yeah, it's a company called Catch. And uh, these are some really sharp looking, 100% aluminum boards with leashes on them. Um, these are the more the narrow ones, and we got some, some wider ones here. Um, really high quality construction, really beautiful stuff over here. 47 inches. Your 59 inch board over here. Some of these are going to fold up. These are really nice. I think a lot of kayak anglers, if you want to actually own a really qu high quality measuring device, this stuff is really cool. I mean, it's it's beautiful. Um, you know, I've, I've used plastic ones for years and they break and they're, you know, they're kind of flimsy. But this is like, yeah, if you want quality, a quality American made board on your kayak, this is really cool stuff. Now, I got to ask you a question what are they retailing for? The, uh, our 26 inch model and our 32 inch model, if you're getting it with the cradle attachment, retails for 50 bucks. On our crappie model, uh, it's going to be $40 with the, with the cradle and it's going to be $30, $30 without. Uh, nice. Musky board is 150 bucks. It's getting replaced, so that's an outgoing model, but we should have our new musky and redfish board available by the beginning of 2019. And I think one of these gentlemen right here is going to help me test it. Beautiful stuff, man. Really beautiful. I think the kayak anglers that want to have a high quality board that they're not going to break um, and get a real nice, you know, measurement and just like have a nice board with them at all. It always comes out with me on the water. I never really sometimes think about it, you know, how high quality of a board I have, but like seeing the construction of a nice board is like, it's almost like this is a treat I want to get myself. It's really cool. Back to Josh. Josh has brought me over to the Phoenix Rods booth. So Elias doesn't have that much experience with Phoenix, but we've been selling the store for a, a while now, a couple of years, and they are awesome. Designed in California. These are their new slow pitch rods. And what's great about these is you lift it up and it's like literally feather light, like super light, ridiculously light. You can see how thin the blank is. We got full exposure here, so there's no EVA anyway. You guys might not realize it, but all that you know, uh, rear grip material has a lot of weight to the rod. This thing is super lightweight, it's got Fuji guides, and it's the perfect inshore rod. I mean, you can use this for slow pitch, and that's what it's designed for, tuna and all that kind of stuff, but really, it makes the perfect inshore rod. If you look at the guides, you can see it's actually acid wrapped, and that's gonna relieve pressure on the blade, which you're gonna see on like tsunami slow pitch rods, you see it in black hole rods, uh, the Challenger Bank rods, and they have them there, you can play with that one. They have them in, uh, Rod pick of the show. This is the one I think that I'm going to bring it into JH next week. It's going to be just on fire. This is really nice. This is a really nice rod. And it's a high end rod. It's not a cheap rod. It's You're looking at like uh, you know, 275 to three and a quarter, somewhere around there. It's a 200, 250 plus rod, but it's it's seriously a nice rod. Yeah, really well made. Cool stuff. Made it, where is it made? Uh, it's made overseas, but it's just the quality of it, the attention to it, the way they wrap the carbon. Sweet it's rods. Premium, super premium. Pre premium rod brand, but it's like, it's really nice. It's really nice. Alright. 
Awesome. Let's move on to the next one. Next one. All right, guys. So one of the more interesting products I came across here at iCast, um, it's actually a, a kayak rack system. And it's a strapless rack system. And uh, it's called a lock rack. And Chad, he's going to explain a little bit about this system. Um, I've been using Thule Holivators for years. Um, but I'm pretty intrigued how this works. I think a lot of people are going to like the simplicity of this and um, how universal it is, too. Uh, so, Chad, I'll let you take over. And, you know. All right, cool, cool. All right, so basically the way that this thing works, it's very easy. Anytime that it's closed, it's locked. So you don't have to worry about if your boat or your paddleboard or whatever is locked on top of your vehicle. And you just use a, we have a key, and all you do is you unlock it. So you pull this out. Store your arm in sideways. This can lock in there if you want, or you don't have to lock it. You load up your boat from the side, so it's really easy load. Once you're loaded, ratchet it shut, and you're good to go. You're on the road. Right now, it's locked on. Really cool. This is probably native. I'm guessing this is probably a 36 inch wide boat. Do you know off the top of your head? I, I don't know. Off the it's top. probably about 36 inches, yeah. Really cool. Maybe 38. And uh, yeah, I'm. Um, yeah, well, Go ahead. Give, let me get you on the frame. Put some force into it. See if you can move it. Put, put some force into it. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Actually, let me, let me put it in one more knot. I mean, my force is going to lift up our entire stand. It's like lifting your car up. Very cool. So, yeah, it, it does not move on the vehicle. Very cool. It's basically all encased in a metal shell. So, as opposed to like a nylon strap that can move around on your rails and all that, it's basically just in metal. Cool product. I dig it. I like it. We're at the accurate booth. All right, guys. So this is one of my uh, best picks from from this. I guess this is the brand new Acura Return Star Drive reel. Acura's never done a Star Drive reel before. And what's cool about this is it's actually a twin drag system. So inside this this thick gear case is a big stainless steel gear, and on either side is a, uh, a carbon drag washer. And just like with a car brake or disc brake, instead of just pushing everything on one side, which is what Star Drags do when you do this, this is actually evenly distributing this way, uh, which from a, uh, a gear perspective is just better. You know, you're gonna have a better experience with this. You're not gonna get that lockdown feeling with this style. And uh, they've used the Valiant frame from the from you know, the Boss Valiant version. So it's lightweight, crazy powerful, you know, like 30 pounds of drag. And uh, for all you Star Drag lovers, this thing is going to be an absolute winner. And uh, it's one of my favorites so far, I guess. Striper guys and the three by three rigging, like drifting with eels. This is gonna be awesome. I don't know, what do you think about for talk? It's oh, it's gonna be a killer blackfish reel, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's gonna be super popular. This is gonna be this will be this is a good one right here. Definitely a winner. I like this one a lot more. Of an actual squid. So that's why it's so lifelike. I mean like you did a 3D scan. Right. That's like a DNA of sure. DNA of We use a material called TP. TP is much, much more durable than PVC. It costs a little extra money, however, the products that comes out of the mold are one-to-one is the original, always. After 200,000 pieces, they're still like that. That means the action, swimming action, everything is going to be the same. same. Yeah. So you can rig it up for forward fishing, backward fishing. As I said, this one is remove the hook. You can put in squid meat or whatever you need to make it simple here. So if you want, you can hit hook it with a treble, you can hook it with a single. It's up to you, you have in here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a split, split ring, a split ring yeah, in yeah. here. Very cool. Somewhere in here, it has a split. <laughs> I see it, I see it. I yep. got it here. So, and it comes in many different sizes. We, I mean, we go from very small, they come in the two pack, small ones, and they're rigged as in the two pack, they're rigged at the forward swimmer and the backward swimmer. Because the, the great thing about the, the backward you can throw it at the weed line, it swims underneath. And the ducks will swim underneath because it swims away from you when you hook it off the backward swimming. But you can also throw them. So it's, it's 
basically, I mean, there's no. The funny thing is, we're out fishing in Jupiter in Florida with these before ICAS show. And uh, Magnus, our VP of the Savage Gear in the United States, needed a drink, so he put the, the rod in the rock holder with the lure on, and they just took it because of the movement of the boat. You don't need any more. They take it on the drop. So, very cool. What's the, what's the weight on that? Oh, of the big one? It's a little bit for you. I cannot tell them. Like, it's like three or four ounces. You draw that from a kayak, right? This is a... Yeah, for sure. Well, like he said, this, this is like the rocking of the boat will get this done. Sure, yeah. This is really cool. Really you cool. You put like dead sticks out while you're doing yeah. other stuff. And they all have the same rigging, right? They're all These are all the same as this, right? Yes, exactly. The exact same thing. These are unrigged. Let's show. Let's TP, just remember with TP, don't put it together with PVC because they're gonna melt. But the great thing about TP is the durability. Sure. So, you know, unlike PVC lures, this is, this is like 20 fish. That's a really cool lure. This is a really cool concept. How's this gonna hold up in the sun? That's not, no problem. All right, that was savage here. I thought those were really cool. Um, the squids, very cool product there. What do you think, Josh? It's super impressive. I mean, you guys got to check it out. You got to look at it. Uh, we'll do videos of it. I'll get some for Elias to, to play with. I think, uh, you know, trolling them off your kayak, fishing them off your kayak, that kind of stuff is going to be It was a cool product. Different. Just it really was, well made. You know? It was really well made. Yeah, very cool. Very so. cool. All right, that's it for now. We'll catch up very soon. Thanks, guys.